parents left this boy with an attractive babysitter, but the harmless games quickly turned into something different. Find out what happened next from the recap of the movie. The kid returns to his bedroom and calls the police. He finds a pocket knife to protect himself against the crazy babysitter. One of the options is to jump out of the window, but it is too far from the ground. Call his voices on the stairs, hides under the blanket and pretends to be asleep. We learned that B has put sedatives in his alcohol, but as you may remember, he parted into a flower pot. Cole hears the word syringe and wakes up in horror. However, he immediately closes his eyes and patiently tolerates bedroying his blood. The boy hears his babysitter whispering some strange words after obtaining a syringe of blood. The youngsters leave. Cole jumps up and attempts to tie his sheets into a rope to climb down from the window. All of a sudden, B appears behind him and a guy faints. He regains consciousness and realizes that he is tied up to a chair and is surrounded by being of friends. The guy's offered cookies, but he refuses. Sonia shoves the cookies right into his mouth and this time Cole himself is trying to cut the ropes with a pocket knife. However, the youngsters notice it and laugh merrily. They untied a boy and lied that they needed his blood for a science project. Suddenly, the police show up and the teen starts panicking. Cole yells help and immediately finds himself on the floor along with his chair. The police break into the house, but Max instantly takes the life of one of them. The second one shoots, which makes Allison hit the wall. The officer is attacked by B, thus the cops are gone. However, there is a wounded Allison who is screaming loudly and complaining that she has been shot in the chest. Seizing the moment Cole escapes to the second floor, John chases him but slips on the toy car and falls down the stairs. So John is also gone. B orders her friends to catch the kid. He uses the sheets to climb out of the window but Max tries to pull him back into the room. Cole plummets down and falls onto the grass. He can barely breathe. Gathering all his strength, the boy hides in the basement. Max struggles to find him but fails. Cole spots a bug spray, a blanket, a lighter, and a few other useful items in the basement. He sees a huge spider which makes him tremble with fear. Besides, there are mouse traps all over the place. Cole hides under the blanket in a dark corner. But Sonia appears in the basement and quite rapidly finds our little hero. The girl crossed towards him in with a sharp object in hand, and Cole shoots a firework rocket at her. Unfortunately, he misses, but after losing control for a second, Sonia falls into the mouse trap, seizing the moment Cole gets out, puts the bus in place, and even manages to secure them. Then he covers Sonia with the bug spray, and since the fireworld rocket is still burning inside, it causes a little explosion and Cole flies to the garden, and yes, Sonia is also gone now. Max notices Cole and the protagonist attempts to run away. He remembers B's advice and kicks his attacker between the legs, yet Max quickly gets on his feet and grabs the boy by the neck. Strange noises distract him. The bully Jeremy is throwing eggs at Cole's house, dancing merrily in the process. Mags demands that Cole deals with the hooligan. The main character approaches. The bully tries to hit him but immediately finds himself on the ground. He begs Jeremy for help, but the latter only smells a chicken egg on the boy's head and then rides away. Mark shows up and the chase continues. Cole climbs into his treehouse, but Max catches up with him even there. He wipes the York from the kid's face, and at that moment a free branch breaks and they fall to the ground. Except there was a rope hanging from the tree and it ended up around Max's neck. Okay, the tough guy is also gone. Cole runs to his friend Melanie, but B follows him. He explains to Melanie what happened to him, and the two hide in the girls' room together. He enters the house holding a gun, and tracks go down. Our protagonist apologizes to Melanie. For involving her in this nightmare, he promises to make things right and asks her to call the police. Melanie kisses him tenderly, which makes the boy smile happily. Cole returns to his house and sees that someone has cleaned the place up and put everything in perfect order. He finds Allison in the chair, gets closer and listens carefully. The girl doesn't seem to be alive. Cole walks to the table and finds Beast's magic book. Suddenly someone grabs his leg. It's Allison. She's still alive, a fight ensues between them. Then they argue and after that they continue to fight. Cole throws dishes at the girl and she finds a kitchen knife. The guy defends himself with a lighter. Suddenly a gunshot is heard, it's B, and for some reason the babysitter has decided to reprisal her friend. B explains to Cole that she has made a pact with the devil, so now she must sacrifice innocent people to spill their blood on the book she once called to join her cult. But he refuses and burns the book while B is struggling to save the book from the fire. Our hero starts Melanie's father's car and accelerates, but something goes wrong. The car flips over and literally flies into the house, eventually hitting B. Cold crawls out of the car and realizes that his house is practically destroyed. He finds the injured B and confesses his love. The police and firefighters arrive at the house. Melanie hugs her friend. The local bullies find out about the incident and immediately show their respect to the protagonist. Cole's parents show up and the boy says that he doesn't need a babysitter anymore, except that B herself seems to have survived. Did you like the recap? Give it a like and visit our channel. You'll find a lot of interesting content here. You've been watching the Film Reel channel. 
I'll see you later.